Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. This is my second video today. I uploaded a video, a long 14 minute lockdown news roundup. It's not available on YouTube, so check it out at hugotalks.com and subscribe to hugotalks.com so you can receive updates on all videos as many are now not uploaded on YouTube due to censorship. So here we have this story, which I was made aware of late last night and I've received many emails today from Ireland about this. And I was hoping to get more definite information about it before I talked about it, as I feel there are a lot of questions about this, which I don't feel have been properly answered yet. But if it is how it looks at the moment from online footage, then this is very, a very disturbing situation. And hopefully this video will help to get the information out there and find out exactly what is going on. So here are the details. Now you remember the video that I put up from a week ago, it contained video footage from a church in Athlone Island, where very few people were at mass and were socially distancing and the police, the guard came into the church and started to tell everybody to leave and asking for their names and addresses. And this man holding a camera started asking, you know, what are you doing police, etc. That video ended up going viral across many social media sites. Now, the person who was holding the camera in the video in the church goes by the name of Pat Sweeney. And this new video appeared online last night, which he recorded whilst in his home. And from what can be seen on the video is that at three in the morning on Saturday, the police came into his home and took his children into care and detained him under Section 12 of the Mental Health Act. Here's the clip. ...with you with the utmost dignity here tonight. Excuse me! To I have explained Walk to you... into me, man, I'm I have red. explained to you why we're doing what we're doing. You have... You have become more vocal since you've had access to your mobile phone. I know you're recording me. And I've no problem with that. Because I'm satisfied what we have done is lawful. Crazy. Okay, now no, the next question. This is fucking crazy. Huh? Yes. Patrick. This is crazy. Yes. Huh? Yeah, Patrick, now. Just stand here now. How many here? One, two, here. three, come back four. In here. Patrick, either you come back in here with us. Huh? Or you'll come with Right? Come back in here. Right. Now. Okay. Now, Patrick, you'll be coming with us. Unless you cross huh? with us fully. Okay? You want to stand there? Okay. Now. We're going to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you a pair okay. of shoes? We're going you to get you. are going to get some medical assistance for yourself. Okay. I want to get medical you. assistance. Yeah, yeah, Excuse absolutely. me. We want to get you medical. Like Excuse me. Medical assistance yes. for what? As I said, we the, from the investigations we have done tonight, we have concerns for your well-being also. What investigations are they? I will talk to you in more detail yeah. about them. We're going okay. to go to Longford. Am I under? Yes. You are you being detained under the Mental Treatment Act. Yes, under Section Twelve of the Mental Treatment Act for assessment. Of yes. the what? Yes. Section Twelve of the Mental Treatment Act, two thousand and one. Are you, Patrick, have you shoes? Huh? Have you shoes? Have you shoes there? Can you put shoes on you? Okay. I, look, Where are my children? Children. Your children, as I said, we've invoked Section 12 of the Child Care Act, 1991, as amended. And their children will be going into care. Okay. This is unreal. This is disgraceful. Yeah. Yeah, Patrick, that is position. Okay, have you, have you a pair of shoes with you, Patrick, now? Okay. Can you get shoes? Can I get a dress? Yes, you can, yes. All right, we... Now, there are numerous clips online with Pat Sweeney talking about this event, and he says that after he was detained, he was evaluated by an expert who determined he was not mentally ill and he was discharged. And he claims that the police acted on a report, a phone call they had received from his mother that he states has been dead since 1997, which you can see in this video on YouTube. Also, here's a clip of him at the police station in Longford asking where his children are. No, Tusha did not take my children. There was nobody from Tusha who came to my house. It was the garage who came to my house. And I was told to pass away, what are they doing about You have no right. It was a malicious complaint. We get on to Castle I was taken to this garage station on the time of the night. Okay? Why not shoot me when I'm carrying a 
I'm afraid to this conversation. I want my children back. That was a malicious campaign. If you are right. Huh? Well, I don't know. You don't, I don't seem to be able to get through to you guys. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm just filming his interaction. He wants me to. What? Huh? He wants me to film his interaction here. Okay. Yeah. It is a long for matter. I'm going to take it to this guy. Because his kids were sleeping. He was the highest ranking guy. Okay. I'm going to take it to a medical assessment. He was doing it. Huh? Well, get out of the house. You're not there already. Wait. 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 Wait.